Hello everyone, for today's video we're going to do an unboxing and setup on this new Amber X device that I purchased during Black Friday. So I got this from Amazon on sale for about $160. And if you look here, it tells you that you can sync all your devices, you can organize them, and you can share your file as well to other people. So if you don't like the idea of subscribing to a Google Cloud or iCloud services, and you want to be able to control the data yourself because of privacy issue, then this device is for you. So let's go ahead and open this up and let's see how easy it is to set it up. Inside the box, you'll see this quick setup guide. It wants you to download the Amber XI app and we're gonna go ahead and do that. But let me go ahead and check what's in here right now. Okay, so here, You'll have the Amber X device. It comes with a manual. It comes with this adapter cable and also an Ethernet cord if you wanted to plug it in directly. But you can also connect this via Wi Fi. Okay? So if you look at the device, you're going to see in the back you'll have a USB 3.1 port, you have an Ethernet port, you have an HDMI. So you can also hook this up to your display and you have the power on off button and you have the power input right here, okay? And on the side right here, you'll have an SD port right here. So this only have a 512 uh, gigabyte storage, but you can always add an SD card and you can also add a flash drive or an external hard drive. So let's plug it in and download the app. So I have a Google Play Store. When I type in Amber X, this is what came out. Okay, so all I have to do right now is install this. So the app is 81.93 megabytes in size. So you're gonna need to have at least that or maybe at least 100 megabytes available for you to be able to install it. Okay, so now that it's installed, let's go ahead and open it. And it's telling me allow Amber X to send you notification i'm gonna say allow and it says allow amber x to access photo and video on this device of course i'm gonna say allow so that you can transfer your photo and video from your device into the amber x storage and then right here it have an app analytics basically it's asking you if you want to share your mobile information to the developers you don't need to allow that so you can say not now now the app is going to guide you through the setup it says to just follow the instruction so if you go over here it just tells you easy in it's telling you that with amber x you'll be able to easily backup and auto magically organize all the content on your smartphone with an auto camera roll backup which is good and then right here you also have an easy viewing you'll be able to view your content by timeline by people, by places, and events, okay? And now it's telling you easy out. You can also share your files to other people by cl uh, clicking the share button. So let's go ahead and get started. Now it says, Amber, your content reimagine. And since this is my first Amber device, I'm gonna have to create an account. So to create an account, let me just enter my information here. It's asking for your email address, your password, and just to confirm your password. So let me do that first. And now it's asking me which device do I have? I have the Amber X right here. So the Amber X is this device right here that have 512 megabytes. So if you want something with more storage, you may want to look for the Amber Pro. So the Amber Pro have a one terabyte hard drive and it, ha it comes with a RAID system as well. So I'm gonna select Amber X and it's telling me to do the Bluetooth access. So let me go ahead and turn on my Amber. And you also want to make sure that your Bluetooth device is on, okay? So let me go ahead and see if I can allow access. And now it's also allowing, asking me to allow location permission so that I can easily set up the exact location of my Amber X device. So I'm just gonna say allow. And in here, I'm gonna say allow only while using the app. 
and also I'm going to say use precise location okay so now it's telling me all the things that I'll need so step one is I'm gonna need the Amber X unit and my uh, mobile Wi-Fi connection and Wi-Fi password and then step two it's gonna ask me to power on the device and step three is wait for the LED to blink yellow so right now the thing is already blinking yellow okay and then step four it's going to ask you to enable your Bluetooth which I already have so let me go ahead and continue and these are all the checklists so first is to connect your phone to your network which I already have turn on the Bluetooth and location service on your phone and you want to have your Amber X unit and your phone as close as possible and then if your Amber X LED light is solid yellow then you have to restart it if not if it's blinking then you can check this and continue now it's going to discover my Amber X and you can see right now it looks like it already found my Amber X device with a serial number and it's probably doing some more setup right here so let me just give it some time Okay, so I keep getting an error trying to connect to Amber saying it's uh, unknown status. So let me try to plug it into my router directly. Maybe my Wi-Fi in this room is weak. Okay, so let me go through the process again with the thing uh, plugged in to my router directly. Okay, so after that, it tells me that I have an option to uh, select the default privacy or enhance privacy encryption storage. So for now, I'm just going to select the default privacy. And it's setting up right now. It's going to take a few minutes. Okay, so it's now at 75% and it says rebooting Amber X. So you can notice right here, the light now turns white. So it's, it should turn uh, orange again after that or maybe another color. But the white color is the boot up process. Okay, so now it has an Amber color and you can see now it says you are now ready to start using Amber. So you can see right here you have My Amber and under that is My Cloud Backup which is the name that I gave to my Amber device. And now you have all this other option here. So right now, right here you have the Amber space usage. So let me go check on that. It says there's total space of 2 gigabytes and zero byte of two gigabytes so i'm not sure what this is um amber cloud space usage um let me go check that and uh maybe i'll update the description on what that is but right here you'll have the camera roll backup so this is my phone camera this is what i have right now i have a 231 gigabyte and i have 108 gigabyte use so if i click here to back it up it's gonna tell me that Amber will need file access. I'll just say okay and allow access to manage all files. So I'll just say yes. Okay. And now I can set up my backup mode to be automatic. You can do a manual or a custom backup. So I'm just going to select automatic backup and I'm going to click next. And I'm just gonna say apply. And if you look here, you have the phone storage backup. Right now, my latest backup time is right here. And you can also use this button right here, the free up space, so that once the photos are backed up to the Amber X device, it's, it will go into delete it from your phone. You can click on that. And let's go ahead and check backup settings. Right here, you can set up if you want to back up over cellular network, I will always turn that off because that's going to take a lot of data. And you can also choose to re-backup edited photos. 
So we'll just check that. And now I went back to my home screen and you can see right now it's backing up my files. So there's 128 files, 128 files, 110 photos and 18 videos. And right now it's still working to back up all my photos. And now I just have to wait until all my pictures has been backed up. So what I'm going to do next is I'll be playing around with this Amber X. I'll probably be setting up multiple devices with this and I'll report back to you maybe within the next 30 days. And I hope that you found this video helpful to you. Please help my channel by clicking the like and the subscribe button. And thank you for watching.